In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the issue where you're unable to receive a verification code on your Microsoft account. So if you're trying to sign into Microsoft and you're not receiving the text verification, then there's actually a couple of things we can do to go and fix this. Now, the first step is just to open up the settings application on your phone. From the settings page, you first want to toggle on airplane mode and leave this on for around about 10 to 15 seconds. After 10 to 15 seconds have passed, we can then try turning airplane mode off. And then we're just going to come down and click on mobile service. Now scroll down to the SIM section and go and click on your phone number. Now make sure turn on this line is enabled and turned on. And once you've done that, you can head back over to the Microsoft website and you can check to see if that's now fixed your issue. If it's still not working, then open back up the settings app. Scroll all the way down to the bottom and click on apps. In the search box, go and search for phone and click on the phone app. Now scroll all the way down to blocked contacts and click on this. Now just make sure you haven't accidentally blocked the Microsoft number as this can be another reason why you're not receiving the code. Now another thing you need to do is just ensure that you're in a location with strong network coverage. So you can see in the top right hand side, this shows the amount of bars and the signal strength of our network. And once again, you can head back over to the Microsoft website. Now, if you still can't get into your account, then what we're going to do is click on can't access your account, click on personal account. And then what we can do is just go through this recovery screen to try and gain access to our account. So it's going to give you a verification option. If you can't fill this out, click on use a different verification option. And if you don't have any of these, click on I don't have. And it's going to ask if you have a recovery code. I'm going to click no. And now you'll be taken over to this recover your account form. And what we can do is just fill out all of the steps in this section. So you'll need to start by entering your email address. And once you've entered your email address, you'll also need to enter a secondary email address and this is where Microsoft will be contacting you in regards to recovering your account. So once you've done all of that, press next and now you'll receive a verification code to the new email address that you've provided and you'll just need to go and enter that code to verify it does actually belong to you. Now once you've verified your email, you'll need to answer all of the questions to this form. Now basically try to make this as accurate as possible as this is the information that Microsoft will use to verify the account does belong to you. Now, once you've filled out this form, you'll need to wait one to two working days for the recovery team to reach back out to you. And as long as you've provided enough information here, you should be able to recover your account. And it's really as simple as that, guys. If you did find this video helpful, then let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.